Okay, we gotta run, grab the key, and go! No, 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 no! It's chasing me! Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. I'm just resting my tentacles a little bit, soaking some ink into Captain Cuttlefish's couch cushions, and I noticed he's got this creepy little ramshackle shack filled with stuffed zapfish, and they're even wearing his hat. That's bizarre. He should sell those on Etsy or something. He would probably make a killing. You know, I'd buy one. They are adorable, even though they look a little hastily made. We're heading to level 12, Flutter Junkyard Renegade Robots. So last time in our story mode playthrough, we battled the second giant boss. So let's just keep going and make our way to the third, and hopefully we'll unlock two of the most popular weapons after we beat that boss. Flutters, these things can't be destroyed. Ooh, they're creepy. As soon as you find a key, head to the vault. Ooh, that one almost saw me. Oh, he's got laser sights. He's a little confused. But yeah, we <laughs> if we can manage to beat this next boss here, we will unlock the Aerospray MG and the Aerospray RG, which are very popular guns in multiplayer. They cover a lot of turf. And uh, right now, I've been using the new ink brush, so definitely check out the, uh, the most recent multiplayer episode if you want to see the new weapon that was just added. It's really unique and cool. Here we go. The key. And quickly go to the vault over here before those guys can catch up to me. Go, go, go. Gotta get used to using this uh, shooter again here. Check the location of enemies and keys with the gamepad. I see the Zapfish is actually right up ahead. You can see that light from him. Okay, I'm not gonna try to race this guy. I'll just let him pass, and then we'll go up. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really enjoying the Ink Rush. It's a very unique style, and uh, not a lot of players seem to be gelling with it. So I'm, uh, I'm glad that I kind of have a nice little niche there. But I do like the shooter weapons. We will unlock this little shooter thing here that we're using, the uh, the hero shooter, if we can beat some of the amiibo missions, which we're going to try to do pretty soon here. Oh, there's another, uh, another ink line over there. Let me see. Oh, we got to be fast. Go, go, go. The lasers are after us. Okay, I think we made it. Jump for it. And uh, can I hit that from here? Oh, there we go. Secrets. Got a chest, and nice! All right, we found the Sunken Scroll very quickly. Usually they're later in the level, but I wonder if we're gonna come back here because the uh, Zapfish is right there. No, we're gonna get stuck between these two guys if I'm not careful, and that one is trying to track me already. I'm a little worried here. I need to get to that other zip line again. Man, they've got they've got weird like gusher things on their heads. I wonder if I can uh, shoot that. There we go. <laughs> the gushers. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna need to use those to get to the zapfish. This is funny to see him <laughs> spewing, spewing some gack all over the place. All right, gotta be, gotta be careful here. These guys were in the trailer, and uh, I remember that in the trailer the person playing would, was not running fast enough to get away from them, and they just got destroyed. So I don't want to have that happen. Whee! I like how how high you jump when you uh, go out of those ink lines but that's a nice little uh, technique to use that we had in that other level last time. We're bouncing around with it. Oh, no. These guys. Let's give them a splat. And, uh, get them out. Ooh, a helmet. Very useful here. I'm going to seek that one. There we go. Very easy if you can lock on. You got a straight line. The Seeker is probably my, uh, one of my favorite sub-weapons. It's just that they're not as useful when you got some vertical levels. All right. Ooh. This level's getting complicated. It's your fault! You need a key to open it, bucko. Did I tell you that already? I'm a little senile. I feel like we might have seen a key before, but I can't quite remember. All right, there's gonna be guys hiding. I can tell. Yep, all right, let's get my uh, speaker going. Got him. <laughs> Very nice to use. And uh, that works well in multiplayer as well, not just on these little octarians. It's, uh, it's pretty handy against players, especially if they don't know you're there. These guys. Oh, -ho! you found the key. Here we go. Keys are used to unlock vaults. <laughs> He's not gonna say it again. There we are. What's in this one? Another. Oh, I was gonna say another pad. The jump. I got to. Uh, got to check under those. I always have to check and make sure that uh, there's nothing hidden. Whoa, a little too high. Don't want to fall through that grate. So let's be careful here. Seeker should work well here as well. That one is running from it. They seem like they're. Uh, other than the Octolines, most of the, the Octarians seem pretty lazy. They're riding around on little scooter things and uh, not walking that much. One of the Octarians probably has the key. Find it with the game pad. Oh, I can see it. It's up. Uh, oh, it's coming this way. Okay, where are they? There they are. Okay, we gotta run. Grab the key and go. No, 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 no. It's chasing me. It's chasing me. It's chasing me. Can I get to the vault? Oh my gosh, that was scary. <laughs> there she blows. That fish dead ahead. 
Give me a moment, Captain Cuttlefish. I almost had a heart attack. Almost burst into a big old splat. All right, what's down there? We got the one thing. I guess we could go down there and get those. We got these gushers. It'll help us out. Just jump on that. Whoa. Wait till it goes down again, because I want to see what's in those chests. I could always just throw a uh, splat bomb over there. Open it up. Whoa! Did we get both of them? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> Put me down, buddy. All right. Yeah, we did. Okay. Now we can go to that fish. There we are. Hey, little guy. Has Captain Cuttlefish been stuffing these things? I think he's just making those uh, those little stuffed ones. If you redo the uh, added, you know, added normal things that he finds, because he's bored, he's retired. The uh, <laughs> Those little stuffed ones, though, pop up in the amiibo levels, and if you replay any of these... The first battles of the Great War ended in victory for the Arctarian forces. The diligent Arctarians easily dominated the Inklings, who were unable to wake up early enough in the morning to defend themselves. Ooh. There's one of those, uh, war... war ink stamp things there. I think that's, like, an old tradition. I think we already unlocked 13 as well. If you're having a tough go of it, there's no shame in leaving a mission till later, you know. We don't have too much to upgrade here. I'm gonna save up for this one, get my, my gun rate firing faster. There we go, only a few more levels and we'll already be at the next boss. What is this one? Ooh, it's nighttime. Nice looking. Shifting's platforms, midnight rendezvous. Okay, yeah, we unlocked this before, so I've been uh, looking forward to trying this one. Let's see how these platforms are gonna be. Whoa, yep, they're, they're definitely shifting. They're shifting, all right. And we'll, ooh, so I gotta remember to go into my uh, squid form here. You can slip through that grating. Yeah, squid form, you know. All right. He's a, if Captain Cuttlefish is not a, I think he's supposed to be a squid, but a cuttlefish is a separate species. So I wonder if that. I think that was just like a translation difference. I don't think he's actually supposed to be a cuttlefish necessarily. <laughs> All right, well done. Okay, let's keep our eyes open here. If I miss a scroll, definitely let me know in the comments, because I gotta try to. Uh, Find all the secrets of these levels when I'm playing through them for the first time here. All right, let me see. Watch your step. All right, got to go through this and hopefully... Okay, I was going to say I almost didn't land on that. That was close. <laughs> uh, there's somebody trying to get me. I'm going to just pop up. Do that. Pop up. Get him. And go. All right. Doing well so far. Some octocopters i got to look out for. We always got to get these balloons. We should have enough uh, power eggs after this one, I think, to... Uh, Get that next upgrade that I'm going to get. Anything hidden under there? Doesn't look like it. Did we get that balloon in time? Nope. <laughs> Not going to worry about it for now. <laughs> Don't want to get pushed off. And that's going to happen. We're not careful here. There we go. Alright, now we can slip through. And these are just shifting. These platforms. There's so many puns. These platforms. Splatoon. It's a pun in and of itself, so I should have known. That's it! Heave ho! Alright, what's that? Something good? Oh, armor. Okay. Do not turn into a squid here at the wrong time. There we go. <laughs> Don't want to fall through there. I haven't seen any pages yet, so just be careful, though. Oh, I think you need to climb onto that big thingamajig. You're so technical, Captain Cuttlefish. <laughs> There's one. Man, the octocopters really are just like, I don't know if I'm uh, supposed to be doing this, so I'm going to fly away. Oh, there's something over here, too, before we climb up. We got some ch uh, I almost said chests. Crates, I guess. There we go. Now I can rest easy. I'm always worried that uh, I'm going to miss those. I've only missed one so far, but we went back for it, so we got it. Oh, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Leaving me behind there, buddy. Let's try to get up here as quick as we can. Here we are. We can only shoot certain spots of this, it looks like. Whoa. That one's going crazy. Oh, tarps. Can't ink those tarps. All right. And then if I uh, get up here at the right time. Man, this, this is freaking me out a little bit. I'm just worried I'm going to fall off and uh, get pushed into the briny deep. Whatever, Whatever's going on here. Into the sky, I guess. Oh, that's where we want to go. Whoa, that was real close. <laughs> We're doing okay, though. Let's not, let's not get too worried. There we go. Jump for it. All right making our way, and we got the page. So let's just focus on getting past this final checkpoint. There she blows! That fish did a hit. I wonder if I can uh, time this right here. Send that across. Well, <laughs> I just watched it. <laughs> Maybe I can lock on and, and get it. It's gonna hit that fence. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna try to get him a good old-fashioned way. Shoot him and go under. Yep! Things actually helped me dodge a little bit. We got octocopters as well. One up there. Got, I got my splat bombs, my like grenade ones. 
Maybe I'll try to use those on it. I don't know if I'm close enough to hit it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Haven't used those so much uh, so far. And most of the weapons that I use don't have those as a special. It's probably my least favorite sub-weapon, but having it explode instantly is pretty handy there, I have to say. All right, let's get that up. Slip through, and we are gone. Whoa, this one is creeping me out. Oh, this is going to be rough if I don't ink enough of this. Let's see if I can get that top one, too. Oh, okay, that should be good. If I can do it, let's, uh... Oh, 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 oh no, oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, little squid. Go, 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 go. This is uh, going to be tough, but I can do it. We can do it. There we go. We're up. And there's the zap fish. Be careful. Jump, jump, jump. All right, we got it. Whoa, look at those screens. All right, she is. That's how you climb it. Mm. Those are creeping me out. <laughs> Their eyes are so glowy. Okay. I think we only have a few more levels left until the boss. Let's just blaze through this. We got another zap fish. And uh, let's see what lore we got. I'm really interested in the lore. It's, it's funny how much it's hooked me. Helded by loud explosions, the great Octo weapons quickly stormed the Inkling Central Stronghold. Victory for the Octarians seemed all but certain, but due to a plug being carelessly pulled from its socket, their hopes were dashed. Oh man. So that was those are the things I've been fighting, those octo weapons. Agent 3, did you know you can wear up to three pieces of armor? You can wear less if you want. I won't judge. I gotta find where the uh, the other level is here. Maybe it's up these stairs? It's weird to like go through parts and not be a squid. That was 13. And here 14. Okay. Octoline Assault Skirmish at the Skate Park. Oh, we're going to the skate park. So this is a map that I know well already from playing multiplayer Turf Wars. But it's a little creepier now at twilight with Inklings and uh, Octolines duking it out. Here they come! Octolines ahoy! There they are. They're cute little hairstyles. Oh, get sneaky and blow them down. I will, Captain. Trust me. Oh, I see a checkpoint there. Let me, uh, use the old seeker. There we go. Remember, bucko, they can do anything you can. And pretty much better, I believe. There's one behind the wall there. I can smell it. How are you smelling these things? They're so far from me. Oh, there's one. There's one coming in. Coming in hot. And, uh, try to splat bomb them. I can. Fish them out. Oh, they got their own splat bombs, so I gotta be careful. Oh, there they are. Okay. Can I get them? Seeker! Oh, no! I got splatted. But luckily I had this checkpoint right here, so we're okay. Hopefully that one didn't come back that was over here already. We're good. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stick to going this way. Oh, did I hear another one? I think it's just this one. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid. These Octolines creep me out a bit. Let's see if we can get up top here. And uh, snipe them from above. Oh, look out. Oh, there we go. Man, that was a horrible scream. <laughs> they, uh not enjoy being splatted, but I, neither do I, so I can't blame them. Alright, there's one over there. Try my... Ooh, we got him. Okay. That was a big explosion. Wasn't expecting... I think my uh, my splat bombs have a bigger radius than uh, than they originally did, because I upgraded them. With that, I'm going to try to make my way up to the top of here. There's some chests. Take the high ground, inkling. Anybody around? How about one of these? This is one of my favorite techniques to do on this tower. Is just hit it right at the edge there, those flat bombs. Oh yeah, that's the one he smelled behind the wall. I see him. I see him there. Is she gonna try to come up here? If she is. I got a splat bomb for her. Man, she's really hiding out there. And got her. <laughs> Alright, there's some stuff over there. Let's go around this way, I guess. Keep my eyes open. We still have to find a scroll. But we're also dealing with oh, this final checkpoint already. It's a pretty quick level. But this one's a little bit smaller. We were on the Kelp Dome last time we fought the Octolines. Ooh, thanks, Suka. All right, that should help a little bit against them. But I gotta be careful. Beware the Octo Ink. Oh, let's uh, let's use it. Oh, use it. There we go. Oh, I don't know if we're. <laughs> I was trying to turn into a squid on accident. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. That was close. There's two of them, I think. That's what's going on. There's a splat bomb for ya. I got some, I got some power eggs out of it. Okay, let's try to lead the way here with the seeker, and uh, see if I can lock on, get out of the way. <laughs> Those flat bombs are are going crazy. There we go. Did we get both of them or just one? Oh, I think we got them both because they were grouping together. That's a good lesson for you guys with multiplayer: do not bunch up because if you're a little too close, 
and you'll get taken out with your friend. There's, uh, I thought I heard another one. We gotta be careful here. I didn't see anything in this corner. I think we're good. That's where we came from. We could have gone around this way, but I'm trying to explore as uh, thoroughly as I can. I bet there's another one hidden here somewhere. Let's see. We're gonna wait. Oh, we're almost at the end. Let's see. There's a UFO and there's a zap fish. We got. Oh, there's a crate over there. Okay, I see it. It's uh. I want to use my seekers, but they use so much ink, so I'm just gonna ink it the normal way. How about one of those? Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, oh no! I heard another one! Oh, jeez! Get him, get him, get him! Oh no! Yeah, there we go. That was close. Jeez, they do more damage than you, so you gotta be extra careful. I was not ex expecting an ambush, but I heard that telltale sound. There we go. This is all going on while there's like cars just driving by. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Alright, Octoling Assault complete. Let's see if we can do the next level too. We gotta find it though. Or is this the last? I don't know. Let's see, that's five levels done in this world. Number 14 down. Lady Luck shone down on the Inklings, and historians today agree that the Inklings' victory over the Arctarians was mostly due to their superior number of limbs. <laughs> oh, look! It's uh, it's Judd now in the corner. So at the beginning, it started out as the uh, Zapfish, but if we flip through the bottom right, you can see it spins around, and then it becomes Judd. <laughs> That's bizarre. All right. Oh, there's that. Let me, uh, let me give you guys a better look at that picture. Man, it's really cool. Oh, they're using little... Is that a primitive squirt gun, those canes? Ah, oh, because that's what Captain Cuttlefish wields. And Judd must be super old, because he was hanging around there as well. I got nothing left to teach you, kid. Keep up the good work. Where are we missing a level? There's got to be another one here somewhere. Oh, maybe down over there? Something hidden? Nope. Don't see it. Oh, it seemed like that would be a good spot for one. Oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> oh, what about here? Okay. <laughs> I was like... That's one for sure! Nope, it was just a shadow. Trick of the light, undeniable flying object, Bluefin. Ooh, I think there's a stage called Bluefin Depot that is gonna get released for multiplayer later on. Maybe this is it, we're gonna get a sneak peek. Bluefin Sighting. Oh yeah, it's another one of these ones with the uh, Octo Striker. Looks like an Octo Striker Agent 3. So any time that we spend above the surface, we are possibly gonna get an Ink Strike. Hide an Ink! Can't be targeted by the ink strikes. All right, I'm gonna use my seekers a lot here. I think as we make our way through, we can only shoot for a few seconds before. Uh, oh no! Look out! Ink strike! And that guy's throwing bombs. We got him. All right, gush our way up, hit these, but also look out. I could see his UFO from here. It's so far off. Oh, jeez! Glad I had a lot of ink there. We would have been in trouble. All right, send out a seeker. Charge up and make our way through. These paths are definitely helping me out. I think we got everything from here, so we can jump down. This is, uh, this looks like another one where it's gonna be tough to uh, get to your opponent's spawn point because you have to, like, climb up a lot. There we go. Careful, careful is the way to win. Great, and a guy. Okay, he's got a helmet. Let's check the other side real quick before we jump down. Ooh, this, is that a Miiverse pose? <laughs> they got him on here even in single player. All right, it's on the side, other than an Octarian. Careful, might have been above the ink too much. Yep, I was, but that's okay. We're jumping down. Oh, hey, hello, little guys. There's a few of them here. Let's try to be careful. And throw that, oh no, there's an Octoling. I wasn't expecting them, but sometimes they show up in the normal levels as well. We just had that skirmish with them. Where do they go? Oh no, it's not an Octoline, it's an Octo Striker. Because they're, they're using their bombs. Here we go. I think we're okay. As long as we don't get seen. Yeah, there's a lot of water to fall off in this one as well, so we're gonna have to be careful when we end up playing this in multiplayer. Because it looks like it's not the safest map if you're not careful. Oh, I feel like I've been above the ink a little too long. Let's see. Oh, there's a guy right there. Let's lock on. Love those Seekers. Helped me out. They, they worked out really well on the last boss, too. Oh, oh no. We're in trouble. There we go, we got the scroll. But we're gonna get ink striked here, if I'm not careful. Let's try to get these. Ooh, I don't want to go up there. Because, uh, as, you, as you can see, that was a, uh, a very obvious place where I could not hide in my ink. They're trying to trap me in these situations, it looks like. Where I'm gonna be in trouble. Another helmet. Might as well get it. You get extra points if you keep your, like, Ink Zuka special or your helmet at the end without using it. Hello, Mr. Motorcycle Guy outside my window. 
scared me there for a sec. I was like, whoa, there's a, a motorcycle Octo, or Octarian. Here we go. Figured I'd check out what's over here. We got some, uh, uh some good, good old power eggs and another piece of armor. All right, I think we've explored most of the level. Let's uh, go on. Oh, jeez, didn't mean to do that. I bet these gushers are probably not gonna be here on the main one. Can we get up there? Nope, we're gonna have a hard time going around because I think we have to go up this one ramp. Oh ho, a bubbler. All right, let's, uh, let's lure the ink strike somewhere over here and then I'll very quickly go over and run, run, run. Oh, got a little caught up. But we can make it if we're quick. Go, go, go. Look out. Okay, didn't hit me. Luckily, geez, that was close. I couldn't even see where the ink strike was gonna be because it was like over the edge. There we go, we're okay. We're okay, let's grab this can of bubbler. Delicious bubbler. Oh, <laughs> I think I just got a checkpoint. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Went right into the ink there. Oh no, everything's inked again. We gotta be careful here. I'm going to try to lure another Octo Strike. I should be able to do this better this time. Here it comes, and go, go, go. All right, now we got a little more time to do this. We just gotta hurry and get over here. Uh, look out, whoa, we just got hit by that. There's so much to deal with in this level. It's crazy. You're getting close to that Octo Jerks UFO hideout. All right, we gotta get our bubbler again. There it is, oh, oh whoa. Gotta be careful. Sometimes I swim a little too fast for my own good. Oh, careful. There we go, thank you very much. I think I could probably just do this instead of walking out there. Oh, I don't need that. I got a helmet, don't I? Oh no, I don't, because I died. <laughs> let's uh, let's lure another ink strike over here. And then quickly, go, 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 go. See if we can get this helmet in time. Go, go, go! Please, can we make it for another ink strike? All right, I think we're good. We're good. Get these uh, these little guys here. The stairs are so treacherous when you're trying to whoop, not get ink striked. Oh, jeez. Oh, I should use my bubbler. That would probably help out a lot. Let's bubble. And whoa! <laughs> Bubble's not gonna help me there. Okay, let's try this again. Got my helmet, got my bubbler, got a bomb for him. And uh, there we go, he's dead. Just gotta avoid this ink strike. Where is it? There it is, okay. I wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're good. Let's launch our way to the boss. And uh, we got a bubbler we can use on him. I, hit, I inked him a little bit on the way down. <laughs> it's always good to hold down that button to get a little more ink. Oh, jeez, tons of these guys. I can get them by using that. I don't know if we're gonna need to use our bubbler if I'm quick enough here. Get him, get him, get him. Uh, a little bit more, and we got him, all right. Yeah, you just get in there and ink him up and he can't get you with those ink strikes. Aye, well done. Here we are. Is this the last level before the boss? If so, next time we'll be taking on the third boss. We'll see. Ooh, I got a bonus for not using my bubbler and my helmet survived to the end. Always wear a helmet, Inklings. Okay, let's check out another lore page. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you are enjoying this, and uh, I do appreciate it. This is the only existing photograph of the legendary Squidbeak Splatoon. The young man folding his arms appears to be the leader. When this picture was taken, the Great Turf War had been raging on for over a year. So that is definitely Captain Cuttlefish there with his hat. And uh, Judd, look, aw, Judd's a, a lot less chubby back then. He's looking cool. And then there's uh, there's Sheldon's grandfather you can see in the background. He designed the weapons. Awesome. So many little glimpses. And there is the boss kettle, the big bad boss. Number three is ahead next time. That ought to be enough zapfish to the Bosch kettle. We'll do that next time on Splatoon. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you don't mind, and uh, let me know if you're enjoying the series. I'll see you guys then for some more, <laughs> some more Splatoon and the next boss battle. Got to keep up tradition and ink up Captain Cuttlefish. See you guys next time. Goodbye.